but this one thing will completely change your life, especially when it comes to wanting to talk to people, is by just changing, <laughs> and I could not get emotional or sensitive anymore. And it's all down to these things that I'm gonna teach you in this video. So from being honest, this video is not gonna be high production, this video is just gonna be straight to the point because someone asked a question in a comment section, and I'm gonna dive into the whole conversation. So the conversation will be here as well. Why do empaths struggle to attract love? This is a video about Aaron Doughty. But why do you strum why do empaths struggle to attract love? My response was, is because we BS ourselves a lot. I hated hearing this before and refused to believe it, but now I've changed and I can see that I was just lying to myself. Also for me, it was a lack of information and now that I've learned the information, I put, I've totally attracted more women. I don't know why, but I've totally attracted more women. <laughs> and I, <laughs> And I could not get emotional or sensitive anymore. And it's all down to these things that I'm going to teach you in this video. So someone asked me to elaborate on it. And so here's my elaboration. So I used to use the, the terms, oh, I'm an empath. Oh, I'm an introvert. Oh, I'm shy. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. And I would stop that from allowing me to do what I wanted to do because I am this. I am label. It doesn't matter what the label is, but I was label. Oh, I'm, I'm anxious. Oh, I've got anxiety. Oh, I'm shy. Oh, I'm an introvert. Oh, I'm an empath. Oh, 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 I'm spiritual. All of these things. And the biggest thing was it was just a BS excuse because it made me feel better about myself. And the great example is, which I'm just gonna sort of explain my response here. If there was a girl that I wanted to chat to and I was too nervous to speak to her, I would use the excuse, oh, if, if it's meant to happen, she'll come up to me. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. It rarely happens, if ever. I've had it, if I'm honest, I've had it a couple of times, really like hit since being here, because I give off a totally different energy now. And it's in that shift where then people come to you. But I was in a very shy state of mind before. And everything I did, it was always out of fear. I didn't want to do it because I was scared. It wasn't anything to do with me being an empath or me taking on their energy and that it was because I was scared to talk to them. Whereas now I have the energy where I can talk to anyone, any woman that I want to talk to, I can talk to them. I really don't have an issue with that anymore. And it will stem from where I've written here, a trauma response. Now, a trauma response doesn't have to be something extremely quote unquote bad. A trauma response is just a response. Whether it's a bad or a really bad topic, it's still a trauma response. For example, having people laugh at you, which was in this case for me, having a bunch of people laugh at you because of one thing that happened, especially with a girl, that was a trauma response. Therefore, when I would speak to girls, I'd be triggered, I'd be triggered, I'd be triggered, I'd be triggered. So yes, there is a real issue there. That's the only thing. But I covered it with, I'm an empath. I'm an introvert, I don't, I don't speak to that many people. No, 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 I was scared to speak to people, period. And someone asked the question, and I'm just gonna leave the question here as I read it. So when it comes to people I've come to care about, which I think they care about me, I've been so effing sensitive and care about their reactions and the way they, la, 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 and it sucks. I feel like I'm losing myself. Who I am, if who I think are my friends, and who I'm need, not be, not being needy by all means. It's hard for me to act needy. This question doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'm gonna try and get to the point of it. Focus, baby, there we go. So in this question specifically, what I'm gonna say is you've had a trauma response. So what's happened is your body is reacting in a way whenever the commencement of the conversation starts. So I'm a hypnotherapist, I do the work for myself as well now. Like I've got to the point where I know how to do the work for myself. I just go inside, I just figure out the situation and I basically change the scenario. Now this is possible, you may not necessarily need hypnotherapy, but what I would recommend is what I did, I literally went to the beach, um, I go to the beach every day, I went to the beach and I sat uh, with my thoughts to think, what, where did this stem from? Where did this come from? And it all stemmed from a specific time when I was 15, and I'm not gonna say the whole situation, but it was basically a specific time when I was 15, a load of people were laughing at me because I was so shy, embarrassed, and something that happened with a girl, therefore, Whenever I would come to that situation, 15 year old shy, introverted, scared Max would appear in my body. Now I'm 24 year old Max, I'm nine years older than that, that kid, but I would still react in that way because you don't move on until you heal the trauma effectively. And like I said, it doesn't matter how big a trauma is, a trauma is still a trauma. It doesn't matter, it's still there, it's still real. And the fact is we can heal this. I've helped people and I've done it myself. So I literally will go to the beach, and this is just my personal preference, you can do it in your bed, you can do it any way you want, but this one thing will completely change your life, especially when it comes to wanting to talk to people, is by just changing the scenario in your imagination. So I can't even remember what I changed the scenario to, but initially I just sat down, 
I went, got myself, I got myself into a trance-like state, into a hypnotic state, and I sat there with the scenario, and I remembered what it was like, and I was like, okay, that was it, because I first went back in hypnosis to tell myself to see what it was, and then I figured out what it was, I put myself back into this state, and then I allowed myself to really change the scenario. How did I want it to go? That's the key. How did I want it to go? What is the best possible outcome that could have happened from this happening now? So I changed everything in my mind, and when you do something enough times and you play it out enough times, you can trick your brain. If you watch any of my videos, like I've posted a video here on TikTok, and I was talking about how you can trick your mind. So if your mind can trick you in these little ways, can you trick yourself for health, wealth, and self-love? The answer is yes, you can. Which direction is this ballerina spinning in? Is it left, is it right? Because if you watch this for long enough, you'll be able to notice that it spins in both directions. You just have to focus your mind. So if this can trick your mind, can you trick your mind for health, wealth, and self, love? Follow me to find out. Now, the most important thing that really holds this together and that is the glue to this, this, this art project, let's say, is actively doing stuff and, and facing that fear as you're diving into this. Because yes, I still worked on it, but that itself doesn't solve the problem. I would still go up to, to women and I would still be scared to talk to them, if I'm honest, I still would be. And I would be like, and I remember the first woman I went up to on the beach, right, I'm gonna give you a, li a literal exact replica of what happened. 20 minutes, 20 minutes I'm sitting there waiting, waiting to figure out how I can talk to this woman because I thought she was absolutely beautiful. Bearing in mind my Spanish isn't great. Hola. Uh, Hablas inglés? Hello, do you speak English? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, adios. <laughs> I swear to God, that was literally my first interaction after really doing this work. I literally said, do you speak English? She said no, I said bye. But I didn't get annoyed at myself for doing that. I actually patted myself on the back because I said, Max, you, you broke the fear and you went and did what was scary. What happened after that is kind of irrelevant. It didn't really matter. And then for the next few days, I started doing it more often, and now I can literally, it's been a couple of months, I've read books, don't get me wrong, I've read books on this, um, I've got information. Information is just as important as doing the healing as well, because we need to know how to do things. For example, when it would come to women in the past, I would get very emotionally connected very quickly, and I would, oh, I'm an empath, I just feel their emotions quickly, and it's like, no, 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 no. I just used that because I was being needy and I wanted the relationship, I wanted that to happen. Whereas now, it's not that I don't care, it's kind of like an energy of like, well if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm not limiting myself to specifically one person, which I would always do in the past. I would only ever talk to one person, I would cut off from everyone else. Because let's face it, people are going to do that anyway. So it's not being a player. Being a player, in my opinion, would be going and sleeping with loads of women. That's not what I do. I just I would like I, I prefer to speak to women and, and date them and see if I like them. And if, if I do, then I'll take it further. But at the moment, I'm just not doing that right now. I'm just seeing how things are going with different women. But before, I would be very, oh no, this one. if this one happens, then it stops me from having to go and speak to another woman. Yes, I want this one, and I'm an empath. And, and I would use those words, I'm an empath, I'm an introvert, I'm shy, I'm this. And I would use that as an excuse when really it was just a BS thing to stop me from having to talk to women. And now, honestly, I've, I've got loads of friends that are women, as well as uh, women that I'm dating. Yeah, that sounds quite bad. <laughs> But women that I'm women that I'm going on dates with as well, and that has been the biggest game changer for me. Is stop BSing yourself for real. Honestly, just stop BSing yourself because it's not going to save you. It's not going to serve you. And the only thing it's going to do is take you down a peg or two. Because realistically, you're not going to get anywhere if you stay in this fear. And the only way to really truly face fear, ah, I said it. The only real way to get rid of a fear is by facing it. You have to face it. And it's not even to get girls on dates all the time. Usually it's just to have a friendly conversation. It's nice to have friendly conversations. And put it that way, I came to Mexico with no friends. I had one friend that I, that I met here that um, I knew from online and that's, that's the reason I came here. And I ended up meeting so many people and now I have so many friends here all because I overcame my fear of talking to people. And anyone can do it, it just takes one, information, two, healing our past traumas of what we've been through, and then three, facing our fears. It's really, really, really simple, it's just not easy. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes dedication. That's what I wanna say, stop BSing yourself, because you are BSing yourself. I was BSing myself, I did for so long. When I came to terms with it, I was able to face it and I was able to change it. If you, stop, if you keep BSing yourself, nothing's gonna change. If you stop BSing yourself today, 
everything can change. And if you want more of these type of videos, let me know, put it in the comments. Any questions that you have, I'm more than happy to answer questions, I'm more than happy to help you get to where you wanna be. Because like I said, if your mind can trick you for all this pain, all these things that are going on in your life, can your mind trick yourself for health, wealth, and self-love? Yes it can, and subscribe.